how are you doing i hope you are doing well i am doing great and i welcome you to a new video so as you have read from the title in today's video i'm going to take you step by step through the process i took to create my wall mural so guys this wall mural is like a diy project it's actually something that anybody can do you can do it anybody can do it you can even do it with your kids you can do it therapeutically for yourself or to change up your space and make it like uh, give it a better feel like make it your own space by introducing your own art or expression to it you know you know what i mean but if you decide to do it with your kids i recommend that you do it with maybe kids that are five years and over because it can be a messy a messy what a messy experience like maybe with kids that are too young because you know it's your world yeah so you want to do it with someone who is more aware so I recommend five years and over. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. I won't talk much without further ado. Oh, actually, wait, let me mention that I took a couple of days to do this. Uh, maybe three. I'd say maybe three continuous days. Although they were not continuous. because, And actually, I was doing it at night. So to be a do one night, skip the other, do the... Yeah, like that. But... Um, Technically, it took me about three nights. And nights, I mean like from 8 p.m. to like 1 a.m. or something like that. So, uh, welcome. I think that's it. Without any further ado, let's go to the process. Yeah, the lighting is not so good. It's at night. I suddenly feel like painting out of nowhere. And what we are going to do is paint the walls. You remember in that video where I paint, where I drew on the ceiling, but I couldn't paint because I didn't have the paint. So now I also drew on the wall, like here. Thank you. Just come close. Can you even see? Yeah, these flowers around the mirror. Not okay. Not all around, but just like. These flowers like moving towards the mirror. Yeah, I drew that also. I also drew this part of the ceiling. Okay, I don't, I don't think you can see that because of the light. Let me just set you down. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I, this is what I want to paint right now. I know it looks like a white wall, but... I want to paint these flowers that I drew because I suddenly feel inspired from looking at Pinterest like for a second. So that's what we are going to do. So here with me, I have this bag. This one over here, it's a shiny bag that I put like all my painting stuff in. I put my brushes, my my bottles. Jeez, you can't see. My bottles and containers for water. My painting, whatever, full of black paint. Okay, I need to start washing these things. Like every time I paint, I never wash this. Uh, let me call it a palette because that's what I'm using it as. I'm using it as. Yeah, I never wash these palettes, but I need to start washing them because. Oh, actually, my other palette is not here. It's in the workshop but anyway my painting brushes these brushes i bought them at okay except this brown one except the brown one i bought the rest at textbook center and these brushes i don't even know how i lived my life without them because they are amazing and then my paints that i also bought at textbook center made a video about that never edited it never posted it Anyway, I bought I bought primary colors. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And then I bought black and white. Although black I couldn't find from the same brand. They had run out, so I bought... Where's the black one? Okay, I guess black is also in the workshop. Can you even see? Can you even... I'm gonna start with that first flower. This one. 
Estamos llegando entre los ojos acá en su lugar. This is based because I have never painted a wall ever in my life. So this is a whole brick I'm taking. Can you bring here me? Oh, I went to the line. I think I'm gonna go in. Sorry guys, I'm saying I think I'm gonna go in with this smaller brush because I don't want to go over the lines. And just from painting this one petal, I can already tell that this might take me like more than today to, to finish. I'm gonna go in with my number zero brush. This is my number zero brush. It's like a pencil. I'm just doing the tip. Oh, you can't see. Yeah, I'm just doing that tip there. Because the tip requires a very extremely thin brush. Oh, say brush. Brush. Oh, there's petal number one. Oh, and here also. Guys, it looks good. Okay, it kind of, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, so that's the first petal. And then I think I'm gonna see you once I do like, I don't know, maybe the whole flower, almost the whole flower because like I don't have space. Like, Okay, let me just position the camera like this. I'm holding it with my hand because as usual, my phone fell off the tripod. I think this tripod is like an assassin, a phone assassin for my phone. Anyway. This is where we are at. I kind of thought it would be cleaner, like a cleaner finish, but I think I'll maybe it requires like a second layer, which I'll do. But I can tell you one thing for sure that this project will take like a lot more than one evening. So I obviously can't finish it today. Something else I can say for sure the ones on the ceiling. Like, okay, I'm sure you can't see them when you show you, but you know, the drawings from the other video that I drew on the ceiling. Those ones, I will need help from someone because already drawing this, like, my hand is already dying, like, going numb. And it's not even, like, a very elevated position. So now imagine drawing, like, like this. I mean, I, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I have the physical strength to do that. I just so, added a second layer um which I should have probably let the first layer to dry up completely because like you see here and this one this part had not dried up completely so when I add the second layer it's like there's no effect on it you know so it has to completely dry but most of the most of the petals were dry like that one with most of them so it came out pretty nice and now I take it to my colors. Yeah, so I didn't even wash it. I didn't wash the black side. But anyway, because I don't like wasting paint at all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to because like there's still some red paint remaining here. Oops, I'm just going to mix it up with the uh, blue and maybe a little bit of white to form up purple and then I'll apply purple on the next flower that's what I'm gonna do
guys this is where i'm at but i have to sleep now because it's like almost 1 a.m i've been doing this since 8 p.m and it's a lot of work but like the progress is okay i okay that looks that's more brown in real life than in the video which i kind of regret i was not going for brown but yeah, it turned out brown yeah so i also drew one more big flower just to deflect the attention from the brown one so that one i'm planning to paint it like a light blue anyway guys i have to sleep so good night guys how are you doing i hope you are well this is day two or i should say night two of painting the wall mirror and this is where we are at i'm not even going to show my face because i am looking crustier and mustier than usual yeah so that's how far we've come it's a lot of work like it's a lot of work because of the accuracy oh sleepy the accuracy required so guys um i think yeah i think i'll finish tomorrow i was supposed to go to town but i think i'll go the day after tomorrow so when is the day after tomorrow that's sunday i think i'll go on monday so i'll finish either tomorrow or on sunday so i have these two flowers to go maybe i might yeah my bed has clothes all over it don't even like i don't have hangers i don't know oh i bought like some new clothes and now i don't have enough hangers so i'm still trying to figure out the situation anyway i have these two flowers to go i might add more i might not and also when i'm done with these two flowers i want to like outline the petals just to define each petal yeah because yeah they're not very well defined so i'm going to outline with white paint and my number zero brush and then i think i'll be done hey guys how are you doing i hope you are well it's been a whole week after and i'm finally done with the with the mural yeah with the wall mural as you can see i added some black detail i highlighted the uh, you know the edges of the flowers i outlined i mean yeah that's the word i outlined the edges of the flowers and that's it let me turn to the front camera so that you see i'm actually in a hurry i'm about to go to town but i'll show you there it is i mean it turned out fine yeah it's not bad it, it looks like wallpaper or something yeah i like it i like it there it is and here i am about to go to town here's my outfit 
so guys i could be wrong but i feel like that final reveal was not enthusiastic 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 enough so i am going to do the final reveal once again and this has been a yeah a few months actually with the mural on my wall so let me turn to the front camera and we can review this thing guys here is the final product from the bottom all the way moving up with all the colors and all the flowers and all those uh bendy coily things to the top guys i'm not gonna lie i love it like i've been having it for like three months no four months maybe maybe five even or six i don't know but i love my wall i love the mural i love what it does to my room i love what it does to my mood even like uh, it's not the same as it was before guys it, please ignore my dirty mirror because i don't know how that mirror gets dirty so quickly and it's so hard to clean because i don't have a a window cleaner but i'm going to get one soon but sometimes i wipe it and nothing's changing i had even tried to wipe it anyway let's ignore that part but anyway like the mirror makes me feel so relaxed when i wake up or when i just come into the room and relax and you know sit down on the bed to relax it adds to the relaxing and even the white curtains in the background you can see them i changed from the maroon ones you know the white ones make me feel so much better uh so now i only have to change my beddings you can see i don't have white yet but i'm going to get some white off-white beddings and then uh do some few things here and there but the mural I love it guys and then i'm gonna say that i noticed that there's this thing like when there's a trend in kenya for interior design like guys are having like maybe uh there was a time when blue and yellow was trending and then everyone on, on the internet in kenya had blue and yellow themed house and themed sitting room and bedroom and everything and now i think it's gray great trending so everyone has great like i just feel like you don't have to follow those trends just be your own person and do your own designs like uh just find your style you don't have to do things and go with themes just because it's trending and everyone else is doing because if i was doing that there's a particular flower or plant that is trending maybe i can get a picture and insert it here and I chose not to paint that because I just want to be my own person. I don't want to do things just because they are trending. And the thing about these trends is that they fade away so quickly. And then you have to start changing things again because you'll be behind the trend. And then maybe you look old fashioned. But when you have your own style and you do something your own way, there's no way it will go out of fashion or out of style. So I recommend that you just do things uh, with regards to interior design. Like just find your own style. And then do it just find what makes you happy what makes you feel nice in a space you don't have to have gray curtains and gray walls and three what else is trend and black yeah right now gray is trending and black yeah just because everyone else is doing it just yeah be creative be your own person do what makes you happy and that's it guys i hope you like the video i hope you'll try this for yourself and you can also make stencils uh okay i'll show you stencils in a in, in a different video because this video will be too long so yeah you can do so much with your space this is just an example thank you for watching guys have an amazing time have an amazing day have an amazing week or weekend ahead bye